Aloha Aina. I'm Ehu Kekahu Cardwell with the Kawani Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Well, about 10 days ago, there was a vote in Puerto Rico about whether Puerto Ricans wanted to become the 51st U.S. state. Well, the outcome of this vote was very telling for a number of reasons. What were they? Let's take a look. First, on an island where voter participation is normally around 80%, only 23% cast their ballots, which means that the most eligible voters sat this vote out. Of those 23% who did vote, 97% voted in favor of statehood. The only problem is that most experts say that a 97% win is the kind of result you get only in this. These same experts stated that should Puerto Rico's governor take these results to Washington, D.C. and press for statehood, the U.S. federal government will laugh in his face and tell him this. If you're sitting there watching a report right now and saying to yourself, hey, wait a minute, this sounds very familiar. Where have I heard this before? Well, you're not alone. The very same thing happened in the 1959 statehood vote in Hawaii. First, only 36% of eligible voters turned out to vote, most of whom were American citizens who had settled in Hawaii to live, along with members of the U.S. military and their own families. And of that 36% of voters who did vote, 94% voted for Hawaii to become the 50th state. So let's see. 23% voter turnout with 97% voting yes in Puerto Rico and 36% voter turnout with 94% voting yes in Hawaii. If the experts say the Puerto Rican statehood vote was fake, then wasn't Hawaii's statehood vote also fake? Now, if you think this information is important, share this free Hawaii TV video with all your friends online. That's how you can support a free Hawaii. I'm Ahuke Kahu Cardwell with the Kiwani Foundation, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.